Greetings from Sleepy Hollow. We're on a mission right now. What are we doing, Jonas? Well, I'm gonna drop up some things and postcards and a business card. To where? To a fine establishment <laughs> called uh, uh, Bella's Boutique. Bella's Boutique. She sells my uh, prints and uh, postcards there. We thought we would kick off October, first weekend of October. We go to Terrytown tonight. Jonas has been busy pumpkin carving all day, so we got here kind of late, but that's okay. But we thought at least we could take you along with us on our little rounds in Sleepy Hollow. Look, they have a new addition this year in Terrytown Spirit Halloween store, right next to Bella's Boutique. Hello. I don't know, because this is the place. I know, that the best support this. <laughs> if you need a costume, well, that's fine, but if you need a nice, charming gift yeah. or souvenir from Sleepy Hollow, yeah. this is the place. This is the real deal. This is the real deal, Bella's Boutique, right here. Your personal touch. There we go. I'm just gonna put it. Isn't in. Great, but um, that's okay. Yeah, get the idea. Yeah. And then you can. Bella's boutique is right over there. This is the Terrytown Post Office. Thank you, sir. What's in box? It's a rubble. What's in box number seventy-four? Junk mail. mail! Yeah! Junk mail! <laughs> Always! There's so much junk mail, you can't get it out. Oh either. my gosh. So, thank you very much to one of our followers. Um, I believe she pronounces it, I'm hoping it's Marisha. But thank you very much for sending us a lovely pen pal postcard. Not postcard, letter. <laughs> we really appreciate it. In case you want to send us anything, here is our address here. We don't, we don't want this. Stop sending this junk move. Whoever send this, stop. Or the horseman will get ya. Even the funeral home gets in the spirit in Terrytown. So Jonas is starving. He's been carving pumpkins all day. And so where do you want to go eat? Horse feathers. Yes! There's no better place to eat in Terrytown. We love horse feathers because they go all out with the decorations and this probably isn't even everything. Right? I don't, I don't, we were supposed to help the owner decorate, but it's been really busy. <laughs> so we're excited to go inside. What's that, Jonas? That's the shirt I designed for horse feathers. 2019 horse feathers design. And Jonas designed it. Very dapper man. So it's the first time we've seen it on a t shirt. How does it feel, Jonas? Oh, oh, your little logo. Oh, cool. And the year. Oh, perfect. How's it feel to see your art on a t-shirt? Uh, this is actually what I put on you last year, right? Oh, yes, I remember. This is Julia. She's the owner of Horse Feathers, and she's a busy lady. Thank you. It's amazing. So we're celebrating the release of our tea collaboration. So we deserve this amazing brownie. Yeah. It's called the Beast. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. It's so cute with the apple. Hot apple cider. Mm. So, uh, Julia. <laughs> Jules. <laughs> Sorry, you were so busy earlier, but I wanted to properly. It's nice to be calm now. Yes. I know, like, like oh. This is the cool thing ever. Yes. So, big things happening. Thank you so much for Yeah, no, thank you. So fun, Jonas. This is our lovely Paper Moon that our friends at papermoonshop.com made for us. And we haven't gotten to use it yet, unfortunately, but this is, it's finally getting its moment. Star. So beautiful. 
Hello dearies! So, I'm in my car and I thought I would talk to you about some things that happened the second weekend of October and while I put on my eyelashes before we go to Terrytown for another fun event. I just thought this vlog would maybe be fun to just kind of show you guys everything that I do in the Sleepy Hollow area and you can come along with me. So I vlogged a little bit of when my friends from Pennsylvania came to visit and we went to the uh, Sleepy Hollow Cemetery and around and kind of did all the fun things. Hello! I am here with Heather and Zach. Hi! And this is our second annual trip to Sleepy Hollow together. <laughs> so, you guys having fun? Yes! yes. And she's yeah. a wonderful tour guide. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> and um, yeah, what did you think? Like the new grave marker? Yes, that one was really yes. exciting. There's a, there's a witch in Sleepy Hollow. Yes, we have a witch now. <laughs> and I'm with the witch. A nice, a good witch. A good witch. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, the cemetery is closing now, but we got to see some stuff. And yeah, thanks yeah. for visiting me again. It's Always fun. Okay. We did actually much of the same things as we did last year. So if you guys want to see that video, it'll be linked somewhere. And it was fun that they wanted to see all the same things. Then what I didn't really share was a fun thing that we did was at Horse Feathers, my favorite restaurant in Sleepy Hollow. The owner there is amazing and she does this scavenger hunt where she, oh wait, I actually have one here. She has these coins that have the Headless Horseman on them and she likes to either herself or have friends hide them around the area with a clue and she gave one to me and my friends to hide on Friday night and we didn't, we couldn't find a really good place at first but then we realized that we would put it in Bella's Boutique. Jonas actually has his artwork for sale there. So my friends actually got the idea, why don't we hide it in the little business card holder next to all of his artwork. So I'll put a picture of that so you can see. And then at night, I didn't film anything, but I can put some photos and of that we went to the Nine of a Thousand Jack-o'-lanterns, which Jonas carves pumpkins for. And it's a smaller event, a shoot off of the Rise of the Jack-o'-lanterns, the one that, the main one that's in Long Island. Last year it was actually more of like a carving competition. This year they changed it up a little bit and it was so beautiful. All the different pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns. Usually we go see one of the events like earlier in the month and we hadn't yet so it felt it just doesn't feel like October or Halloween time until we go see the pumpkin, the jack-o'-lantern spectacular. It's always fun to show friends around and just be like a sleepy hello tour guide. And then today it was now Sunday and I was I have been so excited for this event for as soon as I found out about it. And it is the Sleepy Hollow Film Festival. It's the first time they're doing it this year. And it's at the Terrytown Music Hall. It's actually, as I speak, they're, they're playing the Tim Burton Sleepy Hollow, which I'm sad that we missed. But the one that I was most excited about was the Disney Halloween Treat 70th Anniversary Screening. I just... Knew I couldn't miss this event, so actually, funny story, Jonas was signed up to carve pumpkins today at the studio, which I am parked out front of, and I took the car to drop him off, and I was bought my own ticket because I was like, I don't want to miss this, I'm just going to be the loner that goes to the movies by themselves, I've never done that before, but I was like, I can't miss this, because it's supposed to be like D23 is a part of it, like the Disney uh, people, and they're supposed to be like special guests or something and I'm like I don't know but I don't have much Disney in my life here in New York anymore you know I'm from California so I really miss that so I can't miss this and the Disney Sleepy Hollow cartoon from 1949 I believe is like one of my favorite things of life like I can't explain how much it means to me it's a masterpiece the artwork the background artwork the concept art by Mary Blair it's just like all of my Disney and Halloween old-fashioned dreams in one place and the fact that they're gonna be playing on the big screen is just I'm gonna cry I'm gonna lose it and I was like I couldn't not go to this so I planned you know what I'm gonna go by myself and then we got to the studio and I was just, you know, hanging out watching Jonas get ready and I was going to take the car and then we figured out that he could come with me. So I'm so excited. He's actually just going to split up his day a little bit so he can come with me to see the movie so I don't have to be a loner and see it by myself. This brooch that I'm wearing is 
from an amazing Etsy seller that I'll link below. And this is a re reproduction of the Jack Lantern from the Disney cartoon. It's the part in the movie where the Jack Lantern is flying down the covered bridge from the Headless Horseman towards Ichabod. And so it's just, yeah. So that's why I'm kind of wearing this whole kind of pumpkin look today. And I would thought I was going to be, you know, walking around town by myself, so I was like, let me just dress a little more casual, more comfy. But then I realized I still probably am like, well, I'm wearing a bright orange beret. People are still going to, like, be staring at me, or they're going to be seeing the back of my head. So, just, yeah, <laughs> not very casual. Spooky casual. So this was a very long intro to say that I'm just, this is a, a dream come true to see the Disney Sleepy Hollow and the Halloween treat on the big screen. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. This film festival thing seems really big because on Friday night we were walking by and there was like a line out the door. So they're playing like all kinds of different things like cult classics and it just seems like it's really cool that it's bringing a lot of people into Sleepy Hollow. It was actually really funny because I bumped into a girl that's working for the film festival. Didn't know that till she got here. And I met her very briefly one time on a Dapper Day Expo she was working at and she's has a really great vintage Halloween collection and once I found her on Instagram so I have been following her for a while and I think she also has a really cool oddity shop in LA that I've never been to but anyway I'll link her down below it was just really funny that I got to see her really quick and give her a hug and even though I met her like for five minutes like four years ago so <laughs> it's just funny like how something like this could you know bring people together and i'm so excited for another weekend in sleepy hollow and i hope you guys are enjoying coming along and this vlog is probably going to be really long but i thought it'd be fun to just kind of like document all of the october halloween festivities in halloween town sleepy hollow okay let's go see the movie so jodis what did you think of seeing the disney sleepy hollow in the theater oh wonderful 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 uh, I have a question. Is it normal to cry when you see the Headless Horseman? Because <laughs> that's what I did. I just was freaking out. It was so good. The whole D23 experience at the Terrytown Music Hall. And who was the special guest, Jonas? It was the voice of Mickey. The, yes, real, the, the current, real voice actor. The current, yeah, voice of Mickey Mouse. It was amazing. Amazing. And it made my life when he started singing the, <laughs> the Trick or Treat song from the Donald Duck cartoon. Oh my gosh. And he wished, didn't he wish us a happy Halloween too? In the Mickey voice? You can watch uh, The Lonesome Ghost if you want to hear it. Yeah, with hear the it remastered Lonesome Ghost. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Halloween dreams come true in Sleepy Hollow. Okay. Hello dearies! It is the third weekend in October and we're heading to the Old Dutch Church Festival. Uh, we're kind of running late so I'm hoping we can still see the Headless Horseman. But more importantly, today is a very special day for a few reasons. Well tonight, what are we going to see Jonas? We're going to see the musical. The Sleepy, Sleepy Hollow. Hollow musical! It's the first time they're doing it in Sleepy Hollow and we know the people who are putting it on and actually Jonas has done some artwork for them, right? Mm -hmm. Very most importantly, what is happening today is that I'm gonna see my mom in about 10 minutes. I'm like freaking out. I haven't seen her since May because you know, my family lives in California. So we're gonna meet up, I guess, at the Old Dutch Church Festival and I just, freaking out that we get to see her soon so and then the rest of my family is coming in later this week oh my gosh oh my gosh it's happening jonas october is happening in the hollow so we're back from a day in sleepy hollow mm. again <laughs> and i realized i didn't film much at all <laughs> And we missed the Dutch church festival completely. <laughs> Oops. Well. <laughs> so, uh, sorry guys. I was hoping to take you along to that. But we, I got to see my mom. So that was really amazing. And it's always crazy to see each other again after a while. Mm -hmm. And uh, also with her friend, her best friend and her family. We were in town. And we, of course, went to Horse Feathers for dinner. 
And then what did we do after that? We went to uh, William Allen Jones' uh, interpretation of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. He did a musical and it was... I, I don't have words to describe how awesome it was. And oh my gosh, you did. I, we can totally recommend that you catch one of these. I guess th we will show this uh, after, video after. after. <laughs> Sorry, so guys. I hope you did year. catch it. Yeah. And because uh, it's an experience beyond. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I love musicals so much. Anyway, mm -hmm. and we obviously really love Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> so I when I first heard about this, I was like, Oh my gosh! Before I even heard the music, Oh my gosh! And I, then I feel it. Uh, I got like. We love um, Sleepy Hollow, the Disney version of Sleepy mm -hmm. Hollow, and I totally got some vibes from that. Did you? Yeah. Except what I loved about the music for this is that it's very much more like rock and it's roll, kinda, metal, kind of. Also like, like night, very, Nightwish. Kind of, yeah. I could yeah. definitely say a little more symphonic, Nightwish. So basically hitting all the perfect notes for us. It feels like it was written for us now. <laughs> yeah. We had met the cast earlier in the year mm -hmm. at the Lit Fest. And, yeah. And so that was cool to see them again, all in mm -hmm. character. And of course, the talk to the composer. Mm -hmm. And he's the man. And um, But you've gotten to work with him a little bit. Can you tell them? About yeah. That? I had a privilege to do um, a foam pumpkin um, uh, carving. carving. Mm -hmm for him with the uh, uh, logotype and uh, the horseman mm -hmm. and I also had the privilege to do a um, special uh, event poster mm -hmm. it's not the, the official one Where is it? that we can see here but uh, it's uh, original artwork for the event excuse the glare but uh, maybe hard to see but <laughs> oh, <that's> <laughs> That's the best we get right now. It's yeah. too tired. <laughs> well, the, the composer said something tonight. I can't say it the same way he did, but he said something about like how we were all like supposed to, you know, be in on all this together for the musical mm. to come to Sleepy Hollow for the first time. And yeah. I was just like, oh my gosh, mm. like another Halloween dream come true. It's just like crazy and very sweet that they put our names in the special yeah. thanks area in the Oh, and we met the horseman. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. I low key felt like, not like a celebrity today, but like something. Kind of like a public figure. <laughs> no. No? I don't know. I don't know. Something like that. You felt appreciated I, for sure. Yeah. It was I, like, you know, the whole cast, because we met them before, we were mm -hmm. like, hey, we're all like chatting on the stage and took some pictures up there. I was just like, is this our life right now? Mm -hmm. But that's how it should be also, because so nice. uh, we are where you're supposed to be, doing what you love, among other people who do what they love. This happens. And oh. it's hard to explain, but I it's something that, that uh, connects with you. And uh, yeah, I, I feel that, I felt that tonight, and uh, um, I hope everyone could uh, have those moments. Oh, Jonas, that's very sweet. Uh, I don't know what this vlog is turning into. <laughs> I thought it was going to be <laughs> this like epic, like, come along with me to all the Sleepy Hollow events. And then, like, didn't even go to the old church fest. <laughs> and then, and like, when I do, we do stuff, I either forget to film or can't film stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, sorry, guys. I hope this doesn't come out like we're bragging about everything. It's just, I'm just so excited when things have cool, but amazing things are happening. This is an unboxing, unboxing video. And okay. This is um, oh, a t shirt for uh, horse feathers. The, our favorite restaurant in Sleepy Hollow, Terra Town, and uh, they come up with an idea to um, do a new T-shirt for each uh, Halloween season. So this is 2019's uh, uh, version. Um, yeah, it's so cute. So it's the headless horseman holding a pumpkin pie, being chased by Ichabod Crane, uh, you, going after the pie. Yeah, you kind of want to twist it, and it ended up in the playbill for the Sleepy Hollow Film Festival because, you know, you did the artwork for Horse Feathers and they were the official pub, or what they say, the official rush pub of the Sleepy Hollow International 
Film Festival, the first annual one. Pretty cool that your artwork ended up in a playbill where also Disney stuff and other really cool things are in. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm honored. <laughs> anyway, hopefully it doesn't seem like we're showing up. It's just been a lot of Halloween dreams coming mm -hmm. true <laughs> this year. So, yeah, anyway. We would like to know what uh, fall fun you do. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can, why not, if you share pictures, can you, can you like hashtag us or something? Like this hashtag. charming fall, right? Or this charming auto. I was like, you don't know our hashtag. <laughs> Yes, you can use this charming auto on your photos and tag us so mm -hmm. we can see what charming things you did this fall. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> so it's Jonas's birthday and it's Halloween, All Hallows Eve Eve <laughs> in Sleepy Hollow area. And we didn't do anything on this last weekend of October because we went away to the Berkshires with my family. But we are going to Sleepy Hollow tonight and we're going to something really special, a silent movie playing inside the Old Dutch Church with live piano music accompaniment. And it's the Will Rogers version from like 1922, I think. And it's going to be an old fashioned dream. So excited to see if I can film anything. And then of course we have to go to dinner afterward at Horse Feathers. So we'll see what I can film because it's almost Halloween tomorrow. I can't believe it. Ah! afternoon and oh my goodness last night was amazing the silent movie was playing in the old dutch church it was so good um we got there a little late that's okay we still got to enjoy it and um what was so amazing was that i had seen this the silent movie a while ago probably before we lived in the area and because as we were watching it all of a sudden i realized we're sitting inside the old dutch church and there was a scene inside the old Dutch church. And I was like, wait, wait, what? This is filmed there? Like, I didn't realize that the movie was filmed in Sleepy Hollow. And come to find out afterward, the live organ player guy came out and was saying that this, it was filmed around the area. So, and I, I recognized a lot of it, so I couldn't believe it. Mind blown. And then we went to Horse Feathers for dinner, and that was so special because the owner has become like a really wonderful friend of ours. She was so sweet to bring us out the dessert with a little candle on top and sing and have my family there. And it just felt like a wonderful like conclusion to this amazing Halloween season to spend it there at like our favorite local hunt and just feel so special and loved. And it's just, if I didn't already mention in this video that, you know, our birthdays, Jonas' birthday, and, oh no. So my birthday is October 28th, and Jonas' is the 30th, and then it's Halloween. So this last week of October is always like so crazy busy for us anyway. And then having my family here has been amazing. We've been doing stuff like every single day. And um, I pretty much feel like I'm 99% made out of pumpkin right now because I've been eating so much pumpkin stuff. <laughs> it's amazing. And I, now it's Halloween day and unfortunately it's raining. We had talked about going into Sleepy Hollow tonight to just, I don't know, walk around, enjoy the atmosphere, but I, it's, it's probably gonna get rained out. So actually I've heard some of the towns nearby saying that they're gonna like kind of postpone Halloween to the weekend when it's supposed to be nicer for trick or treating. So this is pretty much gonna be the end of this October vlog in Sleepy Hollow. And I, at this point, have no clue what I filmed this month. Uh, hope it all makes sense put together. Hope you enjoyed. I know it's probably not what your typical, you know, what you expected to see in Sleepy Hollow because it's the stuff that we like to do and the charming stuff. There, But there's so many amazing events in the Sleepy Hollow area. We just don't have the time or money to see them all. But I hope you enjoyed seeing the stuff that we did this fall. And we have other videos of other things that we've done in October in Sleepy Hollow before. So you can check that out too. I'll put in the links below like websites that I always um, keep my eye out on for special events around this area. Um, I've heard this from many people that from the area saying that this Halloween has been like one of the biggest Halloweens they've had yet. Like the amount of people that came here. 
Halloween's getting really big here and I'm so happy to hear that and I hope it just keeps getting better and better and with the bicentennial stuff going on it's been really nice to see all these extra special events happening here in the hollow. So I really hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and let us know what other charming adventures you'd like to see or other kinds of Sleepy Hollow videos outside of October Halloween season or things at Cobweb Cottage here. As you can tell, we love fall and uh, Halloween is every day here for us. So we hope to bring more of that content to YouTube. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Hope you've had a wonderful, magical, charming Halloween season and Jonas and I will see you in another video. Bye for now.